Yeah, it's been uh, it's been brilliant. I think um, you know we were here last year too, and I think that was kind of an eye opener for all of us when we came over first. But um, these trips are brilliant, especially when you know when you get away together as a team, spending all the, the time with each other. It's it's they're really enjoyable trips, and obviously to come places we've come, we're very lucky, and you know the support there I think is is incredible. Um, I've spoken about it before, and yeah, we we, we all love love getting to do these trips. We know how lucky we are, and um, it's just about embracing every minute and, and enjoying it, I think. Your fans love you, of course, but but Wayne, we've seen that during the documentary, all the other teams, I don't say they hate you, but they want to knock you guys off. Do you feel you always, there's always that kind of motivation from every team you play, they want to knock off whoever you represent? Um, I don't know, to be fair, I think, you know, the games are always competitive anyway, and I think uh, you can kind of get carried away with all that stuff, but... Um, for us, really, we never really, really think about it. I think we don't really need added motivation going into games, um, but obviously it's there with stuff like that. So um, for us, we're, we're uh, we just focus the same going into every game, and you know, um, I think we we leave that added motivation to for for other teams. Uh, the match is a friendly, but that doesn't mean there won't be some intensity. We already heard from the Whitecaps that uh, they expect their. To, to, ch to see how they match up against you guys physically and that they're not going to shy away from, from uh, aggressive tackles. Uh, so what kind of uh, intensity do you expect on the pitch tomorrow? Yeah, I think just you know the same as any normal game. We're obviously at a, a different stage to, to the Whitecaps in, in terms of our preparation for the season there in mid-season. So um, you know, we, we'll, we'll just be playing, playing our normal game. I think for us, we've everyone's kind of got minutes on this trip um, on the pitch now. So. Um, we're just kind of finding it, finding our groove and building up towards towards the start of our season. But yeah, we'll 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 be going at it tomorrow night, and um, you know we're looking forward to a good game, and I'm I'm sure it will be. This is Ryan Reynolds' hometown, uh, but for most of us who live here, we only see him on the screen, and we don't really get a sense of him, uh, what he's like personally. For you being part of this team, you guys have to evolve as a team. Uh, I would assume that would include the captain and the bench as well. Um, what is Ryan Reynolds like uh, as a player? Yeah, brilliant. Um, just a very normal person, I'd say. Um, very personable, and you know, cares a lot about all of us. I think um, even things going on off the pitch, he's great with. He, he gets in touch, and after games, he he sends messages, and he's you know, he's just great. I think him and Rob have been you know incredible for for not just the club and and the town, but you know, the whole the whole league really, and kind of opening people's eyes into what can be done when you have owners who like really care and really want to work and put into the club and um yeah he's, he's you know they're, they're the same behind the scenes they're just they're just normal people and um yeah they're brilliant Yeah, uh, very tough. Um, you know, I've, I've I've played in League One quite a bit in, in my career, so I know, and it, it seems to be getting better every year. And um, you know, there's very big clubs in the league. Um, like the gaffer said, you know, we're we're probably not the big the big team in the league anymore going into it, but I think that's okay too. Um, you know, we're happy to kind of have the underdog tag, and um, we'll we, we'll go in and, and and you know we'll we'll do what we always do. We'll give our all. I think we look at the start of the season. You just look at the first game and we take it from there really I think there's there's a number of very big clubs now there's probably maybe you know 10 11 teams you think they're going to be in and around it and um, I think it's just you know it's such a long season I think you know you can't really get carried away about uh, different kind of peaks and troughs in the season I think um, you just have to try and find a level of uh, consistency and um, we'll be looking to do that we'll be looking to start quite well and then um, you know just take it from there but th I think there'll be no kind of no getting too high or no panic either way. I think um, we've we've experienced enough now, so we know um, we'll just have to, to stick at it and, and keep going throughout the season. Yeah, I've, I've, to be honest, I've not seen loads, but um, I know a few lads who've, who've come over here and played, and you know I've, I've obviously watched one or two games, but it, it seems to be 
a very kind of technical, uh, very high standard technically league and um, good games to watch, I think. And, uh, you know, if you like football, you like watching when, when good technical players are playing. So it's it's great. And um, the league's really growing. I think I was here on, on holiday last year um, visiting family. And um, it's when I was driving in from the airport, there's a lot of kids playing like soccer in the in the school yards and stuff. So it's really uh, growing. And, you know, it's, it, it's, it's great, I think. And, um, you know, for us to come over here and play play the, the caliber of teams that we get to is great and uh, it's something to really be excited about. Um, we've not really spoken about it, but I think I've, I've obviously been lucky. I get to see the stadium today. I think when the lads arrive tomorrow and see it, it's it's quite a special venue and. It, you know, it's really, really incredible stadium, and um, uh, we're just we're very excited to to get the opportunity to play here. And like you say, there's added that you know for for a World Cup venue. I think not many of us would have got the chance to do that before. So um, that's another element that that we're looking forward to. Um, I don't know really. I think um, you know, like you said, I, I was at Celtic before, and that is a massive club. I think you know you can't. Um, I was only a young player there, but still, you get a lot of attention and and things like that. So I've had that kind of preparation, but I think this is a little bit different. Um, I think because I joined in January, it was kind of very full on straight away at the time, so I didn't really have time to bet in. But it didn't really hit me, I suppose, until first what I saw when it meant to the town when we got promoted, and then. Obviously, you come over here in pre-season last year, and it was like I remember going out for the warmth in the first game in North Carolina, thinking this is you know incredible. And um, yeah, to, to be honest, I've never really been one to kind of get carried away by by stuff like that. But I think the level of support is is incredible. You know, we walk down the street here, and, or even in Los Angeles, and you get people shouting across the road at you and stuff. So it's it's really is is incredible, and um, you know I think it's just brilliant to be a part of. Yeah, um, you know, I think, like you said, I've I've experienced kind of both ends of it. Um, but yeah, it's 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 a fine balance really between you know um, when you are going well, you want to you want to ride the wave. I think momentum is really important, and, and certainly in a in such a long season. But like you said, yeah, I, you know, I've 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 been at both ends in in of the spectrum, I suppose, in terms of this league. So um, yeah, I, I think it it is important. I think last year was was kind of a bit different to the National League campaign where obviously we had a few one or two runs last year where things weren't going well and I think that's the job of I suppose the experienced players then to make sure everyone stays level headed I think you know um, when you're winning all the time everyone comes in and it's great but I think the real test is how, how you can be when, when things aren't going great and you can, can you stay level headed and, and keep everyone together and I think that's what we did really well last year and even the year before I think um, just stay on an even keel and, and keep trying to perform well and then um, you know, I think the results the results follow that. Yeah. I would probably say the Frank and Walters, yeah. I think um, I went to see them live actually in my um, local uh, GA club about two or three years ago. So I was rocking that night, I think, yeah. So uh, yeah, I was at Crow Park for the All Ireland semi final Lim against Limerick a couple of weeks ago and they. They played the Frank and Walters over the Tannoy after Cork won, so yeah, it was it was it was very good. Yeah, they're good as well. <laughs> yeah, the, the lads always say that. <laughs> Yeah, the the support at home is 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 honestly incredible. I think I I get people come like the manager said you need to come over and see it. I get people who come over from Ireland to watch games and 
they they can't wait to come back after their first time. It's like, you know, it's obviously not. It's it's. I don't think it would be the biggest ground in the league, but I think the you know it's it's rocking every week. It's it's a great, really great place to play, and then. You know, you get the fans over here the same, the atmosphere. Like, I didn't play on Saturday, so you take in the atmosphere a bit more when I was watching, and it's just it's just incredible. It's almost, you know, how everyone's gripped by the story, but I think that comes from how well the club's doing on the pitch as well. So, um, but yeah, it's, you know, playing at the race course is, is something I really enjoy. I love it, yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Very good. Awesome. Thanks very much. No worries. Thanks, guys. Cheers. <laughs>